It took him forever to explain what Ritter's was to me, and I still don't get it. It's some... What is there not to get? I mean, <laughs> shit. Ritter's. Easy money. <laughs> it's right? not the same thing at all. <laughs> it doesn't seem to make any sense. It makes even less sense than Hella. It's rather simple, you see. Shit became shitters, which then grew to be Ritter's, and that recently became Ritter's Mobile, thanks to Braun. Hence, shit equals Ritter's Mobile. The teal slang came from us, you know, our group of friends, you know, it's what we use to talk to each other. Only, only people from TL will understand it. <laughs> it all makes us giggle. I guess it's a lot of nonsensical words that adapted sensical meanings as opposed to the other way around where you use regular words in like a weird context. We used weird words in a regular context. I think it's fun, man, you know, it, each group of people has to have like their own set of words that they can use amongst themselves. It's kind of like an inside joke, but everybody's in it. It just adapted and I understood what it meant and it just became an everyday thing. Angle front, which evolved out of looking at a uh, top of a drink cap and had a little icon of a uh, <laughs> an elephant farting, and so we said that was an angle front. Chris picks hell sweet. I don't, I don't even know what it means. Crazel pig and angle front and all these things. These are just slang words that sort of uh, came about because of really misunderstandings. And don't forget, rudders means sluts. You know, that's fun to say. It just puts a smile on your face. We've seen a lot of rudders. Done a lot of rudders. <laughs> the nickname is like, um, for me, is Tindy. It's a lot of baby talk. I mean, who talks like that? Um, I guess we do. Briggles and jiggles. Sometimes it's very strange to hear it. It doesn't make much sense, and I think if you said it outside of the circle, people would look at you funny. But what do SoCalians think of all this crazy slang we NorCalians use on a daily basis? I'm actually from Denver, so... First of all, I hate hella. I hear a lot of NorCal people overusing the word hella. I mean, maybe maybe the, like all this language came from, because, you know, there's a lot of gays up in Northern California. I don't know, maybe. It makes me think of hippie granolas from Northern California. I never think hella will ever evolve into a, a SoCal thing. I mean, I hear people say hella down here, but obviously they're from the NorCal. It's safe to say they think we're hella dumb for using these expressions. But what's that, Arlene? You think NorCal slang will never catch on? Well, I think hella could be used uh, in other areas. I give it about a year or two. It'll be all over the U.S., baby. But things like Crazel Pig and Ritters, I don't think they'll ever make it past the Bay Area. It's, I don't think it'll go that far. Well, I think people are still going to make fun of us, especially uh, people in Southern California. Their slang would murder would like combine with our slang and then we'd have some type of super slang craziness. It already showed up in that song, Hella Good, No Doubt song. That's a hella good point. Hella has caught on in the music industry and has been showing up in more and more song titles over the past few years. As Braun and Daniel mentioned, No Doubt's song Hella Good was the first popular song to feature the term in the song title. There's even a band from Sacramento called Hella. Here's a list of some other artists that have used the term Hella in a song name. Uh, that shit's hella, hella Ritters. Yeah, Ritters, uh, usually. Pig, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I would say. When our friend John went over to uh, Boston, he went over there and was saying, like, hella. So I was telling him that uh, we should take a trip over there uh, to see one of our friends. And when we go there, we should, like, make up a, a pop word and say it, like, all the time, like, it's the best thing ever, and, and it'll probably, like, take root there and start spreading all over, and uh, the word we were gonna say was screaming. Like, oh man, this shit is screaming! <laughs> and it sounds like something you would say, like, like if you're a moron, uh, but... <laughs> but it, that's how things start, I think. People are making fun of people, or making fun of themselves, and they just use some stupid-ass word, like, screaming. Screaming. <laughs> Screaming tell is sweet. So when screaming uh, hits the streets, just remember where it came from and deny that you ever heard it.